in this video we'll take a look at getting started with C Sharp programming. Now throughout the videos I'm going to be using the Visual Studio 2010, the professional version. However, there is the Express version which is available for free from Microsoft as a free download. And so if you take a look here you'll see Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. This is the free application that you can use to follow along throughout these videos. The website is Microsoft.com slash Express slash downloads and that will take you to the spot here. There are a couple different uh, Visual Studio uh, IDE packages available 2008 and so forth. There's 2005 before this. However, I'll be using 2010 for these videos. Now one of the more noticeable differences you'll find with the Visual Studio professional version versus the Express edition is going to be the professional is going to give me pretty much all my options that are available here in one package and then with the Express edition you're going to pick the specific language you want to work with so you'll want to download Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. Now let's go ahead and begin. If you do use the professional version the first time you open it up you're going to see this uh, default environment setting which is going to allow us to choose what our default uh, setup is going to be for C Sharp and since this is going to be a C Sharp tutorial I'm going to go ahead and pick Visual C Sharp development settings and go ahead and hit start Visual Studio. Now the first time it's going to go ahead and configure your settings so it may take a few moments for it to load up. If you've been using Visual Studio 2010 Professional Edition for another language and you want to change over to the C Sharp development settings you can do that by clicking on tools import and export settings and you can see the wizard here for us to change we can reset everything back to the factory default collection of settings so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this one because I did choose the right settings for us now we're going to go ahead and begin by creating the traditional hello world program so I'm going to go ahead and click on new project and we're going to be presented with a couple different options here now the first time around we're going to go ahead and use the console application but you'll notice most of our tutorials will concentrate on the Windows Forms application. To start with we'll use this basic command line interface for uh, our program so we're going to go ahead and make sure you've got console application highlighted. Down here at the bottom we can choose a name for our project and I'm going to call this one Hello World and you can see the default location for where our project will be saved. And So this one's going to save it to my documents and then the Visual Studio 2010 folder and then inside of that there will be a projects folder and inside the projects folder you will see a new folder called hello world so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to choose OK and it will go ahead and create this for me now when we actually create a new solution you'll notice that we've got all of the structure needed to actually run our first program unfortunately it won't do anything but we do have all the structure set up more notably we've got a class already created called program and we've got our first method called main already set up so in order to actually make something happen we need to write a statement so I'm going to go ahead and click after the first curly brace or the last curly brace that you see here that's open and I'm going to go ahead and put a space by hitting enter and we're going to write our first statement which is going to be console.writeline now if I start typing in the capital C and then an O and an N you'll notice that these are my options that are available for me to actually use and console is listed here so I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key to fill in the rest and hit the period now and you're going to notice that I've got another list of options that are available. This is Microsoft's IntelliSense, which makes it quite easy for us to write our code once we start getting familiar with it. Write line is the method that I want to choose, so I'm going to go ahead, and now that it's highlighted, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Tab key so it fills in the rest. One of the nice things about this is it does put the capital letters where they belong, like the capital W for write and the capital L for line. So we're going to go ahead and keep that there, and now I'm going to go ahead and open up the parentheses for this, and we're going to type in our code. Since this is going to be a string for hello world, I'm going to need to have a double quote around it. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in hello, comma world, and then go ahead and I'll end it with a period, and then I'll end it with a double quote and end the parenthesis. And since we're using C Sharp as our programming language, we're going to need to end our statements with a semicolon. So we're going to end this whole thing with a semicolon. Now what we're actually telling our program to do is in the console, we're telling it to write this line of code or write this text that's available here for us, which is the words, hello world. And the reason why we use double quotes is because we're telling it it's a bunch of letters, a bunch of characters that are strung together that are going to be what's going to be printed the computer can't understand what the word hello is or the comma or the word world and so we're telling it just show us everything that's in these double quotes here between those quotes and we ended our parentheses and we ended our statement with the 
semicolon. So now to actually run our program, there's a couple things that need to happen. We need to take this language and make it go to machine language, which is going to be called uh, the program that we're going to use or the application we're going to use is called a compiler. And we can go to build up here at the top and we can say build solution. And what we're looking for is down here at the bottom where it says build succeeded, we wanted to see that make sure that there's no errors. So I do not see any errors within my program. And that's not a necessary step to run this. You could have just gone to debug, and that's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to go ahead and choose to start without debugging. And the reason why I'm choosing this is because it's going to run my application for me. And it's going to, when it's done, it's going to give me the option here to hold. Uh, I'll wait for any key to be pressed in order to actually continue with the program, which is going to basically just end my program. So you'll see, hey, my program did print, hello world, just like I asked. If I hit any key to continue, it's going to disappear. So this is our first program in getting started with C Sharp programming language. And now to actually close our application, we're going to go ahead and just choose File, Close our solution. And then it closes the program we currently had open or the project we were working with. And now to return back to our splash screen, we can just restart the application or I can choose View and we can choose Start Page. And that will take us back to our startup splash screen.